The hall you saw is the special room for the very dear and close guests of Zuleika and Potiphar. To reach this room, one must pass through the seven doors that we are now passing through. And only Lady Zuleika has the keys to these doors. Lady Zuleika's orders. Greetings, Lady Zuleika. That you are my slave. That is right. And you are also aware that a slave must obey his mistress. Have I ever been disobedient? Today, too, you must obey me. I am at your disposal. I have prepared myself for you. I take refuge in God. What do you want from me? Disloyalty. I said I'd obey you, but disloyalty and obedience are different. What do you want from me? I want you. Your husband has been kind to me for many years and given me a good position. Now you want me to be disloyal to him? I too have been kind to you. I am grateful to you and your husband. But do you expect me to make up for your kindness with disloyalty and sin? You are indebted to me. You must return my kindness. And as a slave, you must obey me. What made you kind to me was my creator. I am indebted to him more than to you. I have belittled myself so much to possess you. And I will not give up. And I will not trade the gem of my chastity and decency with a fleeting pleasure. Nobody besides you and I will know about this secret. How can we hide ourselves from God? Are you afraid of your God? I too am ashamed. It is easily fixed. I can't stand your looking. Forgive me, great Amon. He can no longer witness our sin. I fear the omnipotent, all-hearing God. Fearing that metallic sculpture is a sign of foolishness. Are you calling me foolish? I thrash hundreds like you under my feet. You don't even deserve to clean the dung of my horses. And you consider worshipping the great Amon a sign of foolishness? I order you, and you must obey, or I will bury you right here. I will obey you as far as it does not violate the one God's command. You heard me. <laughs> 